This morning, hundreds of tourists, including Americans, remain trapped in Peru near the famed Machu Picchu because of political unrest in that country. NBC's Molly Hunter is following the overnight developments. Molly, what's the latest? Willie, good morning. That's right. So over the last 10 days, violent protests have spread across Peru in real pockets uh, with supporters of former President Pedro Castillo. Now, he was impeached, arrested and detained. Those protests have turned violent. At least 20 people have been killed. What's also happened, though, Willie, is that it's basically paralyzed transportation. So halting trains, blocking roads. And because of that, Americans and hundreds of tourists have been trapped in Machu Picchu. We were able to reach some of them. Take a listen. Well, as far as they know, they're trying to airlift us over to Cusco Airport, um, but we have not heard one helicopter yet. Um, and the reason the helicopters didn't show up today is because of the weather. I mean, okay. the, the weather was bad. My next concern is the lack of supplies, which okay. be lack of food, lack of water. Now, Willie, the people that we spoke with, they're not super nervous because the protests aren't actually right there where they are. Now, the U.S. Embassy says Peruvian authorities assure them they are trying urgently to evacuate tourists, including the Americans. And Peruvian authorities also say in a tweet that they are starting humanitarian flights today. We'll keep you posted, Willie. Good to hear they may get out of there soon. Molly Hunter, thanks so much for bringing us up to speed. government has agreed to declare a state of emergency across the country. This as authorities struggle to calm violent protests over President Castillo's ouster. The declaration suspends the rights of assembly and freedom of movement. It also empowers the police supported by the military to search people's homes without permission or judicial order. Peru's Minister of Defense says the government has not yet determined whether a nightly curfew should be imposed. Bruce government has a first and foremost I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and his only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Next double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishop of Great Millstone, the one that taught me the one hundred percent truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. The gods of people here forbear. Saint Luke chapter twelve, verse forty nine. I am come to send fire on earth. And what will I? If it be already kindled, peace is not coming. Look, look, what it say? The evils, meaning the bad times that we're seeing right about now, it's, it's going to escalate Israel. It, it's, it's not going to be a grass of sand or grass of grass on earth. It's not going to be affected by the chaos. It's, it's not going to be nowhere safe on earth. The, uh, the only safe haven for you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans is within this word. The, that's, that's it. That's it. Get, look, chaos is going to be everywhere. You see, Th this is our, um, our sanctuary. You see, this is our refuge. You see, the righteous run into it and it's safe. Let's get this again. St. Luke 12, 49. I am come to send fire on the earth. And what will I, if it be already kindled, the Lord said, by the time he come, this place is going to be on fire already. And what is he going to come do? He's going to come and bring more fire. The Lord said, I'm coming to bring more fire. Look, peace, peace left the building, man. Peace left the building. You Israelites, y'all, y'all so damn blind. And look, no matter where you go, you, look, and you got, you got these Israelites teaching that flee America doctrine. Look, you flee America, you gonna run into something more more chaotic. You you gonna wish you your ass turned around and could get back to America, but you're not gonna be, man. All right, they get ready to lock down the cities, man. And a man shall desire to go to one place in one state, one city, one country, and he and she ain't gonna be able to. But you thought you thought what we were saying was fairy tale, all right? Those crazy guys out there with the dresses, right? Didn't know what the hell they was talking about, right? Saint Matthew chapter ten. Look, we didn't we didn't know what the hell we was talking about, even though we was bringing up bringing out precept upon precept, line upon upon line here a little there a little even though we was bringing out the word backing up everything we were saying we we we, we was the crazy ones though right saint matthew chapter 10 Let's just bring this out saint matthew chapter 10 verse 34 a little red letter lord yahweh shai speaking who they even call jesus look look but i guess he don't know what he's talking about either right saint matthew 10 34 think not and look that was that was um that article was like 20 hours ago 
and it's been happening for the last couple of days, man. All right. We, we assure you that it's not going to spill over there to where you were. No one can assure you that violence and chaos and destruction and deletion won't come your way. You see, and we're going to prove it according to the Bible. St. Matthew chapter 10, verse 34. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword, which, which represents destruction. And this is just something quick. I was going through some um, articles last night. You, you, you see it. Everybody protesting. This, that, and the third. Look, it, it, it's, it's really going down. Look, all these different news feeds, man. U.S. citizens speak out on being stranded in Peru amid protests. This shit real. You see? Look, look at this video right here. Hundreds of tourists. Let, let's just play this one right quick. Geico has been offering savings for over 85 years. Hundreds of American tourists trying to flee the country after the government declared this morning chaos in Peru. Hundreds of American tourists trying to flee the country after the government declared a state of emergency. Violence erupting in the streets with the recent ouster and arrest of its former president, Pedro Castillo. Protesters demanding his freedom and new elections. Flights and railways coming to a halt, forcing some tourists to make their way on foot. And you can best believe Babylon got everything to do with Babylon. Sleazy got his hand in everything, man. All right. You see? Let's just get another scripture. You, you, you see what's going on, Israel? St. Matthew 10, 34. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. and No peace. It's violence. It's chaos everywhere. I came not to send peace, but a sword. And look, the scripture said it was going to happen. You see? Scripture said this was going to happen, man. Second Ezra, chapter 15, verse 1. This is just something quick, you know what I'm saying? About, about to head out the door. Saint, um, Second Ezra 15. Well, look, look, look. That's what I'm saying. You Israelites are going to be shit out of luck soon come. You see? You're going to be up shit's creek soon come, man. Second Ezra 15 and 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. We'll tell you what's going to happen before it even happens. Regardless if you hear for a bear, which I will put in thy mouth, save the Lord. Let's, let's, let's just jump down. Verse 5. Behold, said the, the same old song. Behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. Let's jump on down. Let's just ease on down the world. 14. Woe to the world, destruction to the world and them that dwell therein. You see? Let's, let's jump on down. Let's jump on down. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Bear with me. I'm just trying to see where I want to go. Um, sedition among men. Let's see. Yes, yeah, 16. For there should be sedition among men and invading one another. Look, look you, you see that right there. You see that right there in the article. So what was it playing? I made it to the train station to head back to Cusco. This morning, chaos in Peru. Hundreds of American tourists trying to flee the country after the government declared a state of emergency. You see it, sedition among men. You see? You got people excited, other people to go against the government. They arrested um, the president of that country for, for who knows what. Sleazy has something to do with it because he's trying to put his puppet leaders. That, come on, we're not ignorant of Satan devices. Sleazy he's trying to put his puppet leaders in these different areas, man, because they about to make it mandatory that you take that seat here. But oh, yeah, it's June, all right? It's June. It's an embargo, right? It's sleeping with a white woman, right? You Israelite group, you know what I'm saying, are through, man. At least you repent. You are through, man, all right? You and your congregation, but the Lord is going to deliver the hopeful elect within those groups, right? You see, but let's get this again. Second Ezra, chapter 15, verse 16. You, you notice one thing about it? Have you ever noticed? Ha, ha, look, ha, have you ever noticed that the other Israelite groups, they don't never bring out this scripture right here? Have you ever noticed? It, 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 what our, our sin in your heart say? It make you go, hmm, hmm. Let's get it, though. Second Ezra, chapter 15, verse 16. There shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. You've seen that on the articles, man. They ain't regarding their presidents. They ain't regarding their leaders. They, man, they all hell break loose throughout the four corners of the earth. And it's going to be mainly here in Babylon. And the course of their actions shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. We went, we went through that just from minutes ago through the spirit. They're going to actually lock down these cities and these countries. And you Israelites from America, you know what I'm saying? They, they went on an old trip, you know what I'm saying? You're not going to come back home. You're not going to come. You're going to have to suffer the consequences, man. You're gonna, this is why, that's why this is most definitely not the time to be doing no traveling. The Lord is, the Lord is, you, say, you saw what he said, man. I came to bring a sword, not peace. We just say a man shall desire to go. And I'm rushing through this because I'm kind of pressed the time. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. 
Well, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. Is that city not troubled or what? The houses shall be destroyed. Look, same thing. And men shall be afraid. And look, you, didn't we just hear that in the articles? They said they're afraid. They're trying to get out of there, man. They're trying to get out of there, man. They're afraid. How much more the women? How much more the women that was over there in Peru, you know what I'm saying? Shaking their ass, you know what I'm saying? Just having a whole lot of low, good old time, sipping pina coladas and all that. And then look, just like that, at the snap of a finger, all hell break loose at the snap of a finger. And that's how it's going to come suddenly. When you least suspect it, man, when you're all comfortable, everything's going all good for you, it's going to happen suddenly man that's why you gotta watch the news you gotta know what's going on man you see we say a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor but shall destroy their houses with the straw and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation so it's going down it's going down let's play some more of their article violence erupting in this this morning, chaos in Peru. Oh, yeah, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't just say this. But we don't know what the hell we talking about, though, right? We're just some men on the corner with some dresses just bug the hell out, right? We don't know what we're, going, what we're talking about, right? You better go read Jeremiah 28 and 8 because it's coming to pass as we speak. Hundreds of American tourists trying to flee the country after the government declared a state of emergency. Violence erupting in the streets with the recent ouster and arrest of its former president, Pedro Castillo. Protesters demanding his freedom and new elections. Flights and railways coming to a halt, forcing some tourists to make their way on foot. Once I made it to the train station to head back to Cusco, uh, they said everything was shut down due to the, uh, the coup. Miami firefighter Brian Vega vacationing in Machu Picchu, a top tourist destination. He's now trapped in the village with hundreds of others filming this line of tourists trying to flee. Look, say he's trapped, Israel. Israel, say he's trapped over there, man. What you Israelites going to do, man? Say, say that dude trapped over there. You see? And whether you're over there, whether you're over here, you know what I'm saying? You're going to be trapped, man. Look, look. Sirach, no, so I was on those Ecclesiastes chapter 5. These warnings going out for real, for real. The Lord ain't playing. These warnings are going out for real, for real. You, you Israel, two-thirds, y'all, y'all. Y'all done effed up, man. Y'all get ready to be knee deep in the shit, man. Running through. You saw that was running through them cities, hauling that, trying to get the hell out of Dodge. I mean, come on, man. So Rock chapter 5, verse 7. Make no terror to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. The clock is ticking. All these videos. You Israelites don't know how deadly serious it already is. And the Lord said evils and only evils and more evils and more. So I'm going to get that, Lord willing. Don't put it off from day to day. Oh, I got time. I got time. My career, my job. You know what I'm saying? I'm an entrepreneur. Come on, man. All that shit about to go down the drain, man. Seek the Lord. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. Because when it really pop off, look, look, look. It, it's over then. It's over then. And the Israelite men, they knew this truth, you know what I'm saying? And they used to go teach the truth out there on the highways and byways. And they stopped. They took their hand off the plow. The Lord coming for your ass too. And you can believe that. And there ain't no hooping and hollering. Forgive me, Lord. I knew better. You know what I'm saying? The Lord said, you know what I'm saying? To whom much is given, much is required, man. You're going to find yourself on the other side of the fence, man. All you non-believers. And remember, a whole lot of you Israelites don't believe in the Lord Yahweh Shai. But remember, he's the Savior and he's the deliverer. He's the only one that can deliver us out of these different situations. The only one, man. Lord Yahweh Shai, man. Who you even call Jesus. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security, when it's all lovey-dovey, thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. Remember, the Lord's controlling everything. I want to get this. What, what is it? Um, I, I want to get this right quick. Let's get this. I'm going to play a little bit more of that video. And I, I got to go. I got to go. Quick, quick little one. You see what the Lord is doing, man. This is not the time to be playing around. Second Ezra chapter 14. This is not the time to be playing around. You have the same old scriptures over and over and over and over. Are you taking heed to them? Second Ezra chapter 14 verse 16. For yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done here either. so greater evils man more plagues more than you you're gonna see more videos of this man and look it's coming home by helicopter for your possible evacuation miami firefighter brian vega vacationing in machu picchu a top tourist destination he's now trapped in the village with hundreds of others filming this line of tourists trying to flee by helicopter for a possible evacuation either tonight or tomorrow like this family from knoxville tennessee and we just really want to get back to our families 
Vegas says the only way out is an eight out. And though they shall cry to me, I will not hearken it to them. Talking to you Israelites and anybody in general, man. But mainly you Israelites, the Lord said, I ain't trying to hear you. No, I ain't trying to hear that crying. When you get knee deep in the shit, I'm not trying to hear you. Look, look, I gave you time to seek me. I sent my, my, there's my prophets, my servants, the men that's their messengers, my messengers. I put them on the streets in the late 60s, and it's 2022 going on 2023. How much time do you think the Lord was going to give you? Huh? You thought the Lord was going to give you another 100 years to shake your ass and to pop bottles, you know what I'm saying, and to rap? You thought the Lord was going to give you another hundred years to just wrap your ass off, right? Me to say the Barclay Center, right? Have on all your blood. All hell break loose. And you're going to get caught knee deep in it, man. Let's go. For hike, with no timetable on an evacuation, he says the situation is deteriorating with supplies running low. Yeah, it's overwhelming. You know, I have my family back home. I have uh, my wife and two children. The State Department now issuing a level three travel advisory, urging citizens to reconsider traveling to Peru because of the crime and civil unrest. This warning is just one step down from a do not travel advisory. Right about now, I wouldn't travel nowhere. Right about now, I wouldn't travel nowhere. Just sit your ass down, you know what I'm saying? Stay put, you know what I'm saying? You see, because it's really going down. You go to these other third world countries, you know what I'm saying? Get trapped in that thing, you know what I'm saying? What it say again? Second Edward chapter 14, verse 16. For yet greater evils, meaning bad e evils, greater evils, man. Then those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter, man. Evils are growing upon the earth, man. Matter of fact, let's just stay here. Let's just stay here. Let's just stay in Ezra's. Let's just stay in Ezra's. Second as the eighth chapter. But oh yeah, but remember Israel, we just some crazy guys standing on the corner with dresses on, right? Remember that energy you gave us, right? Second Ezra chapter eight, verse three. There be many created, but few should be saved. Let's jump on down. Let's jump on down. But we the crazy ones though, right? We doing all this reporting and all that, but we the crazy ones, right? We we telling you, we giving it to you like a TI is, but we the crazy ones, right? Second Ezra chapter eight, verse 50. Make remember, make no tarry in Israel to turn to the Lord. You once again, you Israelite men that was out there teaching, and you took your hand off the plow, and you Israelite men that got all this knowledge, you on every comment board, and you ain't took your ass to the street, and you ain't warn nobody. So I, like, I warned the people that I work with, they hell with your co-workers. You better go to the streets and warn Israel. You see? And if the spirit is on you to do so, second Ezra chapter 8, verse 50, for many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. See, pride go up before destruction. All these people were prideful, right? All these people were prideful. The Lord said, I'm bringing evil on top of evil and though they should cry to me, I'm not going to hearken it to them, right? It's really going down. Second, look, remember, go go read St. Luke. What is it? Um, What is that? No, that ain't St. Luke. That's um, I go read Isaiah 45 and 7. I create peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. He created the darkness, the bad times. The Lord is controlling everything. Let's go back to the article. I'm going to read this one more time, then I'm gone. Second Ezra 8 and 50. For many great miseries shall be done to them in the latter time. Go look up the word misery and put it on the comment board. For many great miseries shall be done to them in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. And a whole lot of you people are going to be rejected. A whole lot of you people, you're going to come crying to the Lord and you're going to get rejected. You see? Let's go. To reconsider traveling to Peru because of the crime and civil unrest. This warning is just one step down from a do not travel. What to say? This is a warning, right? Ezekiel 3 and 17. Give them, I have made thee a, um, a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, give them warning from me. The Lord told us to give you one from him, right? Ain't that what the woman just said? Smoke, fire, every damn thing, man. It's getting ready to go down. You can always go watch the video. Look, look, look. What to say? It's, um, it's high time to wake out of sleep because salvation nearer than what we believe is getting ready to get chaotic, Israel. So, uh, repent, turn back from your wickedness, beg for mercy, and seek the Lord. Shalom.